Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. The time has come where we get to unveil the new swatches from Stylemaker Fabrics. Is this, if this is your very first swatch video, welcome. Um, this is going to be an hour or longer of just looking and admiring <laughs> uh, fabrics. Um, so, like I said, these are all the new fabrics. Um, Stylemaker Fabrics will be bringing to their shop. All of these fabrics are available now. So what I recommend to people is to pause the video, grab a pen and a piece of paper because you're gonna want to jot down the item or SKU numbers that I'm going to be um, calling out for each fabric. So the ones that you love, make sure to write down the SKU number. It's gonna be the easiest way for you to find them on the website. And then when the video is over, you can head to stylemakerfabrics.com, type in the item number in the search bar and it will pull up that item number for you. Like I said, all of these fabrics are available for purchase now. Um, in addition, this video kind of is the unofficial kickoff for the spring style tour. Um, so starting tomorrow, various bloggers uh, will have uh, outfits that they have made from one or more of these fabrics here. I think it goes for like two weeks. My video is on the 30th. I will let you know if my fabrics are in here, I'll let you know which ones I'm going to be using. Um, and through the tour, there is a coupon code, or I guess there's not a code, there's on the website without a code is $5 domestic US shipping and discounted international shipping. So keep all that in mind while we get started. I'm excited to see what we've got. From what I've heard, there is a lot of color, a lot of brightness, um, a lot of fun spring summery colors. Okay, first up, we have a slub texture linen in the color, this is the color oatmeal. More colors are available. Uh, she didn't say which ones or how many, but um, this is a actually really soft, um, gosh, it's got a beautiful soft hand and there is a little bit of texture to it. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's just, I, I mean, I can't get over how soft it is, especially for a linen, you know, you're not, you, linen can be a little bit on the scratchy side being a natural fiber like it is. Um, but this one is really, really soft and the texture is very subtle, um, but it's definitely there. And let's see, it's got um, it's not much stretch in either direction. I mean, maybe a little bit this way, but but definitely not enough. The cross grain has a little bit more. The drape is absolutely stunning. This would be a beautiful, like I'm picturing like one of those, almost like a t-shirt dress with a handkerchief hem and maybe like a belt made from this fabric too. Oh, I just think that that would be so cute. Um, I think anything with like a circle skirt or something with like pleats um, in it, kind of like this, would just be really, really beautiful. Very nice. Okay, this one is 13533. 13533 on that. Lovely. Okay, next we have Chevron Texture Double Knit. So this is like a tone on tone. Um, if you're wondering for a comparison, if you want to do pants out of this and like a maybe crop sweatshirt or even an oversized boxy sweatshirt type of thing, um, these two do look really lovely together. Um, but yeah, it's got a chevron, but the chevron is made of different, like not all the stripes are the same, period. <laughs> They are thinner, thicker. This one's kind of like a braid. This one's got stri uh, like bars and dots. So it, it is a variegated um, chevron, which is really nice. I, I personally kind of feel like the chevron with the even number of the even stripes, I don't know. It, it, I guess, reads a little juvenile to me, but this feels very mature and very expensive. It, this feels rich to me. Um, and I feel made the tone on tone definitely helps with that too. But, um, 
but yeah, this is nice. This is the only colorway they have of it. It is one, three, one, three, four, five, three. Here's the back. Um, stretch wise, we are talking, you know, a, not a lot, but a little bit going this way. Definitely um, enough for like a fit and flare dress if you wanted to do that out of a knit. Um, kind of goes both ways but um, not a lot of drape at all. So keep that in mind. Actually, it would be a really cute, like slim fitting. If, th if that suits your figure and you're comfortable and you know, close fitting top and bottom, um, this would be really nice for that as well. Although now that I'm looking at it in the light, I don't know, can you guys see my fingers? It is a little bit translucent. So um, that's definitely something to keep in mind too. A little bit on the sheer side but still really pretty. Okay, next up we have Swiss Clip Dot Pink. So they have four colors in this. Um, I am using the sky blue, baby blue. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what she's calling the color, um, but it's washed up. I can tell you guys beautifully that cotton backing for the, for the dot is um, really soft and really, it's gonna be very, very comfortable. Uh, but you can tell the dots are like raw edged. I guess that's what clip dot means. Um, but they're all evenly spaced, you know, very nice. The fabric doesn't have a ton of drape to it. So I'm making like a baby doll style top where it's like fitted through the shoulders, but right above the uh, chest, it kind of like flares out. So you could use, you could do something like that, obviously, or even um, just like a boxy top, or it'd be a really cute like uh, pleated skirt, something like that. Lots of colors on this one. This is one three 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 six. There's the back if you want to see that. No stretch, just totally woven cotton with the texture of the dots. Cute. Okay, next up, this is pretty. Okay, we have Romantic Floral Cotton Voil Pink. This is really lovely. So I think we're gonna see a lot of florals today. Um, I mean, florals in spring, duh. But um, I think the way that they are being done this year is really nice. So it's a mix, of, remember how big Tropical was last year? So this is definitely giving me a little bit of that vibe with these like longer leaves, but then these bright colored florals mixed in too. I mean, it's kind of Hawaiian shirt-ish, but done in a young modern way, I feel like. I love the pink background and the colors are just jumping off. They're really vibrant. So Voil is like a very lightweight, pretty sheer cotton. Um, if you're used to working with quilting cottons, this is an excellent transition into garment fabrics because it's going to sew up the same way. It's just going to be a little bit lighter. So it will feel familiar to you, but not be one of those super slippery, tricky fabrics or a super thick fabric that you're just not used to. So if you're newer to garment sewing, this was the first garment fabric I ever used um, when I when I started sewing seriously. So Voil is super nice. I love it. It's going to wash up a little bit drapier than what we're showing here, but it is very, very lightweight, breathable, you know, all those lovely qualities about cotton. All right. One, three, four, eight, three on this guy. Very nice. And there are more colors available on this. So I'm assuming the background and maybe some of the flowers change colors. So and when you check, um, when you go to the website and you put in this number, there's gonna be like little colored dots and you can click on them to see the different versions of the colors. Okay, next up is Cozy Eco Sweatshirt Fleece in Blush. Okay, there are more colors of this. This one's called Blush. It's beautiful. I love this muted pinky cream color. It's lovely. Um, so Cozy Eager uh, Sweatshirt Fleece. So the back is fleeced. It's so soft, you guys, so soft. 
The inside is a dream. The outside does have a little bit of texture to it. It is this eco, so I'm not 100% sure what exactly that means, but it definitely has some, I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like rayon, you know, where it's slick. Um, it definitely, can you hear that? Maybe not. It definitely has some kind of texture to it, which I think is nice. Um, I like when things kind of can look a little bit worn. Um, but yeah, I can tell you the back of this is super, super soft and lovely. Yeah, so if you're looking to make a sweatshirt this year, um, this one's nice. It, it is a little bit heavy. Um, I mean, this swatch is not very big and I feel like it has a lot of heft to it. But at the same time, it has like, you know, okay drape for a sweatshirt, you know? Like that's not bad. Um, it has a little bit of stretch this way. Not much more the other way. Um, a little bit on the crosswise grain. But yeah. So for this, obviously, you know, anything sweatshirty, but you know how they had, oh gosh, I can't remember, the big four maybe, had some of those like hoodie dresses. I think this would be lovely for that. It has the structure, it has the weight um, for it to go over your hips and still be comfortable, like not too thin. Um, you know, it's still got enough structure to where you would feel comfortable in, you know, having something like that over your entire body basically um i'm picturing that one that one pattern that has like the drawstring going up the thigh you know and so it's kind of like like an asymmetrical hem kind of i don't know if y'all remember that but that's what pops into my head so like a sweatshirty dress but you know kind of kind of form-fitting top to bottom but obviously you could do a regular hoodie this would be great for even a zip up because of that structure yeah, super nice. This is a really nice quality fabric. Okay, next up, we've got another floral. This one is Digital Print Rose Floral Rayon Jersey. So you guys know I love rayon. Um, rayon Jersey can be a little bit tricky, but you know, you'd be making some kind of t-shirt, some kind of knit top with this. Um, and I love, it's digital print, but it almost looks like watercolor it almost looks like it's painted um when it's really just digital printed but it has beautiful coloring in here i love this deep blue mixed in with all these pastels this yellow sunny yellow is like a hot hot trend for this spring um we'll see some more but sunny yellow bright orange and then like that sky blue kind of color are the three big colors for this spring um coral is also the pantone color of the year so this really has it all if you're looking to make one thing that is going to be your statement for spring this year maybe a, a top out of something like this would be really great i don't recommend this on the bottom half just because it's so lightweight i mean maybe you could do like a tent shaped t-shirt dress but even that would be i mean it's very very lightweight very drapey so even that might be a little bit too clingy i mean there's just a ton of drape in there um the stretch is very stretchy i mean that's a hundred percent or more stretch same the other way um and then like a bunch on the cross grain but it's just the colors and the the size of the flowers um beautiful okay one three 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 eight on this guy there's the back okay cool I think I'm gonna keep this to the side well maybe not because I we had some other ones other pinkies coming up and I wanted to see how well they all coordinated like for example if you put these two together that would be like a top and pants um this is more of a bottom weight or like a jacket in this these this color here and this are pretty much the same um, okay, anyway, so this is Tencel Twill. This is the fuchsia color. I am using the coral color. If you guys saw my uh, makes video that went out last week, um, I show you the coral color. And 
this is the fuchsia. So the tinsel twill is super nice. Um, tinsel is like another, it's like a name brand of rayon. So if you know rayon twill, you know what this is. Twill is the weave that is used to make jeans. So if you can imagine like <laughs> jeans made from rayon, I know that sounds so weird. That's the kind of fabric we've got here. It's got a super, super soft hand, almost like a, I don't know, like a brush quality, but not really. It's just very, very soft. Very, very soft, very, very drapey for a twill. And this may, I mean, I've made so many things out of rayon twill. So I've got, I'm making pants this time, high-waisted pants. I've got like a trench coat type jacket out of tinsel twill. The flint pants, I think everybody and their mother has made flint pants out of tinsel twill. Um, it's just a really great fabric because it is so sturdy and durable. I mean, that's what twill and denim are known for, but it's so soft and has such great drape to it. So it's very versatile. Um, and you can make pretty much anything under the sun out of a tinsel twill like this. So there are a ton of colors, a ton of colors. Like I said, I have coral, I, here's fuchsia. I know for sure that there are some in the blue colorways and I even think there's like some neutrals. Um, I can't remember exactly, but a ton, ton of colors. So there's not a lot of stretch to this in either direction. I mean, it's woven like a denim. Um, and it doesn't have any elastane or anything like that in it. So it's pretty, pretty sturdy, durable stuff. All right, one, three, three, six, eight on the Tencel twelve in Fuchsia. But like I said, when you click, when you put that in the search bar, the other colors will pop up too. Okay, so this is, I'm 99% sure that this, yeah, this is the fabric that I am using to make that bodysuit. Again, if you saw my makes video, um, a lot of you commented about the fabric that I'm using for the top. This is it, this is the one, this is what you're gonna wanna get. This is watercolor floral rayon poplin. So, poplin. Uh, nice again sturdy weave of fabric done in a rayon making it super lightweight super drapey beautiful for any type of blouse so i have a blouse with like you know billowy bishop sleeves and like a flowy bodice tucked into those um high-waisted pants here's the fuchsia. I made it, I went more on the coral direction, but you could also go in here into this fuchsia area or even in this blue. Um, if you look at the tinsel twill in the blue color, maybe that would be more suitable for you. Definitely a little less wild <laughs> in the blue, um, but it's got this beautiful white background and to me these flowers just scream spring. It has all the colors that are that we've been talking about for this season with the bright yellow and the orangey coral and even like the lighter blues in here. So um, so yeah, this is what I'm making uh, my top out of. No stretch, not at all. Just a ton of drape, super soft hand. Um, honestly, I found it really easy to work with. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about this on the 30th for my, um, in my tour video, but, um, I love rayon poplin. It's, it's definitely one of my favorite, favorite substrates that there is out there. I just love the combination of drape plus structure. Um, it just is really nice. Okay. One, three, 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 two on this guy. All right. Next up, we've got... Abstract watercolor floral cotton jersey. So we've looked at a rayon jersey, which was this guy, right? And you remember how drapey it was? Well, here's the cotton version. And you can see a lot less drapey, a little bit, but not nearly as much. If you guys can, <coughs> excuse me, tell the difference there. So cotton jersey. So this has got a little bit more structure to it. Um, it's definitely very soft still, very lovely to touch. I mean, it's not slippery like rayon is. It, it definitely feels like um, cotton. So it's got a lot of stretch, uh, pretty much in both directions. A lot on the cross grain. 
um, and it's just got a little bit more structure to it. So if you're looking for a more structured t-shirt, um, any kind of top, um, or even if you want it, if your figure allows, if you wanted to make a like a uh, knit pencil skirt, this would also be great for that. I could even see this as a dress, like a fit and flare dress, I think would be really, really lovely. Um, it's got beautiful colors. Here's um, our fuchsia um, tinsel twill that we've been looking at. Um, let's see, what else could you pair with it? That's pretty much it that we've seen so far, yeah. Um, but yeah, beautiful colorways. This is definitely leaning more toward like the mint, like minty blue, green, teal, turquoise area, um, but really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay. Next, we've got hot, hot, hot pink. Okay, this is bright. This is stretch cotton sateen. There are lots of, there are other colors available in this. This is, this color is called fuchsia. And you guys, this is bright. Okay, so comparing to this tinsel twill in fuchsia, this is, this is definitely more purple. This is just straight up hot pink. Borderline highlighter pink. It's very, very, very bright. Um, but it is a stretch cotton sateen. So I also love working with cotton sateen. You can see it has a little bit of stretch and sateen is known for having a little bit of a sheen to it. Can you guys see any of that light bouncing off of it? It's not, it's definitely not like satin or anything like that, but it's just got a little hint of sheen to it. My lemon dress and the poppy dress that I made for the Royal Wedding Sew Along were both made out of cotton sateen. Um, it's ideal for fit and flare dresses. Um, any kind of like light spring jacket would be lovely. You can even make pants and shorts um, out of cotton sateen. Um, pretty versatile, but it's definitely a more structured fabric. So lends better to like pleated skirts than gathered skirts. But if you want to like tone it down a little bit, uh, I recommend maybe doing, you know, a pastel um, or you could even do a neutral. So if you made shorts out of this and like a three quarter sleeve dolman sweater, imagine that kind of toning it down um, a little bit. I also love like a baby blue paired with hot pink. I think that those are, that's a great color combination. All right, so this is 13502. Other colors, so check that out. If you're, Even if you're not into the hot pink, check out the other colors. I love cotton sateen and a solid cotton sateen is so versatile, so, so versatile. Okay, here's what's next. We've got a rugby stripe rayon jersey in berry vanilla. It's also a um, French Terry. I think that got left off. So I would call it, no, she said, did we say that? Stripe? Oh, now I'm confused. Where are we? This is Stripe French Terry Pink Heather Gray. You guys, I got it now. Okay. <laughs> Stripe French Terry Pink and Heather Gray. So even uh, spaced stripes alternating between the hot pink and the gray. If you're wondering about this, they're not exactly the same. This is definitely hotter than this. Um, and then this is pur too purple. Um, but anyways, it's got this lovely French terry. So this is going to make a really great sweatshirt or a hoodie or, you know, something along those lines. It's got, let's see. Yeah. A decent amount of stre a stretch this way and not so much the other way, that's okay. Um, and then drape wise, you know, it's all right. Not completely stiff, not completely structured, but a uh, mid, mid drape, I guess. Um, and then in terms of like weight, I would describe it as probably a mid weight. Yeah, mid weight French cherry. The loops are, you know, pretty decent size. I've seen, definitely seen them bigger than this. Um, so there you go. This is one, three, three, eight, eight. 
And again, Stripe French Terry. No other colors on this one, just this one. All right, here's the rugby. So this is rugby stripe rayon jersey in berry and vanilla. If you're wondering, it's a little too light, a little too light. Um, but this is a rayon jersey. So similar to that other floral that we were looking at earlier. Um, this is whenever it starts getting complicated as I keep losing losing the swatches. Here it is. So similar to this, but um, actually very similar. Similar in weight, similar in drape. Um, it just has this, you know, evenly spaced stripe in this berry color and vanilla. So any kind of top or t-shirt, berry and vanilla. And I think that the next, so there are more colors available in this one but I'm just seeing what's sitting on top here and wanted to say that these two coordinate. Oh God, it's close. It's very, very close, but not, not exact. All right. So this is one, two, seven, two, nine. Other colors are available. Lovely, stretchy rayon jersey. All right. Okay. And then this one that I had pulled down is a rayon jersey in berry. Golly, I feel like we want these to match, but this one is just a little bit brighter. But it's very close, you guys. It, this one's a little bit more purple, but it's it's very, very, very close. Very close. So if you wanted to coordinate those, I don't think anyone would knock you for it. But if you're a perfectionist, I just want to be clear, they're not exact. Um, but if you wanted to do something like this as like a top with this as a cardigan, that would be beautiful together. Can y'all see those? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold, so little coughs. Um, so these are lovely, 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 as are these. This is the cotton, um, the cotton jersey, and this is the rayon jersey. Um, and then even if you wanted to do the rayon poplin with a cardigan out of this berry color, I think that that would be nice. These, this is a little bit more hot pink than this is like a little bit more purpley, but there's a little itty bit of it in there. And I think that it's close enough that, yeah, you could definitely combine all three of these and make a cardigan out of this and it will look it would look lovely. I think this is my favorite though. And if you didn't write that down the first time, it is one, three, 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 eight. And then this, uh, this one has a lot of colors. Uh, one, two, seven, two, eight, more colors available in this, but this is the berry color. And then just for reference. All right. All right, let me get all these back organized again. All right, now we have a hexagon embroidered eyelet fuchsia. And I have a note here saying that there is a matching cotton voile available, which means that you can, so here's our other voile, so just for reference. I'm sure they're solid colors and you would underline them like so and it would match. So all these little holes would be the same exact um, fuchsia color, which is really, really nice that you are able to do that as a home sewist. It's very, very difficult. When you go to other places online, you can never be sure that the colors are gonna match exactly. So the fact that Style Maker Fabrics has taken the time to make sure that you, there's an underlining available to you that will match perfectly, means you're gonna have a ready to wear garment that's gonna look like you got it at any high-end store. Um, something else to point out here is the eyelet edge. Uh, not eyelet edge, the scalloped edge. 
So that's also a really nice detail. You're gonna to wanna to preserve that on the hem. So for your sleeve or the your shirt hem, or if you made a skirt out of it or a dress, um, the bottom hem of you know whatever garment. You could even include this as the neckline if you wanted to do that. You just have to do a little bit of trickery and hand sewing with the underlining to make sure that it got tacked in under here. Um, but lots of colors available in this one with matching cotton voils. So keep that in mind. But other than that, it is, you know, a cotton eyelet, just like you'd expect. No stretch. I mean, the holes make it a little bit stretchy, but it's, it's not a stretch fabric at all. Um, and not a lot of drape because all of the embroidery kind of prevents that from happening. So, but you're gonna be making shirt dresses, you're making boxy tops, um, even, I mean, you could do a fit and flare uh, type dress. Um, you could even do a really cute jacket. I'm imagining the sleeves being left online so that your arms show through, but you still have that coverage. I honestly, this, this, should just be getting all of your creative juices just like going crazy. Um, this is a really, really fun fabric. So this is 13320. All right. Um, and then just for fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, can you imagine a top out of this? Even just like a sleeveless top and then a cute little jacket out of this. Oh, adorable. Love that. All right. Now we have... Okay, this is another fabric that I am using. This is the Heather Sweatshirt Fleece in Salmon. Um, I am also using, so I'm using this colorway and the coral to make some kind of sweatshirt. Um, I still haven't decided on that, but so I have this, it's washed up beautifully. It is a heavier weight um, sweatshirt fleece, so keep that in mind. Um, kind of ideal for those of you that live in climates where spring does not mean 70 degrees, <laughs> where in spring means like 40, 50, and you're just happy that there's not snow on the ground anymore. Uh, this would be a good spring fabric for you because it has the comfort and warmth that you need, but the colors of spring, which is really, really nice. So like I said, I have a bright coral, which is kind of almost like, it's more of a salmon-y pink, um, but she's calling it coral. But there are other coral, uh, there are others um, available in this, I think. She doesn't have it marked that way, but I don't know, maybe not. Now I'm confused. Well, either way, um, it could be a typo or I could be miss, I could be confused. <laughs> but I know that there are other sweatshirt fleeces because I have two colors sitting in my pile over there. Um, but yeah, so this one doesn't have any stretch to it as most sweatshirt fleeces don't really. Um, but you're gonna be making your hoodies and your sweatshirts and sweatpants and I mean, any any of that kind of cozy athleisure type of stuff. One, three, three, eight, six. The back is so soft, you guys. And the top is soft too. So that other, so this one, the Eco, is definitely, they're similar in weight. This one's a little bit heavier, um, but that, that texture, the slubby texture is not on this one. This one's nice and smooth, but they're equally soft on the back. Okay, now we have, this feels like a denim maybe? Yeah, stretch denim in coral. Love this color. Let's pull out some of our florals just because it's so fun. Again, I keep referencing this one. It's one, three, 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 two. Sorry, one, three, 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 two. Um, and you could make some really cool coral ginger jeans or um, a denim skirt. But yeah, this is your colorful spring denim. And I'm only seeing this is available in this one color. So keep that in mind. It is a stretch denim. So um, keep that in mind for whatever you're shopping for. Denim dresses are really hot. They're definitely back. So if you are thinking about making one of those, this could be a fun way. This is, the, she's calling this coral, but it's definitely kind of like a rusty orange to me. Um, it's not as pink as coral, as you might be thinking of coral. So keep that in mind, but a lovely denim, lovely stretch denim. I don't know the ounces, but it's pretty, 
pretty lightweight for a denim. <laughs> okay, so there are other colors available. Boy, this is getting confusing. So this little star means there are color colors available, but on my sheet, they, there aren't. So sorry if I'm being confusing. One, three, three, nine, nine. Yeah, okay. Leave that with the bottom weights. All right, next up we have, this must be the rugby. Yeah, rugby stripe rayon jersey again, same as the berry one. This is just what she's calling cherry and vanilla. So we have berry and cherry. <laughs> Sounds like sisters, berry and cherry. So we talked a lot about this. Just take a look at the colors. Here's the coral denim with the cherry stripe. All right, and then here is the rayon jersey in cherry that again, even with the berry, felt like they were, they really wanna go together. They really do, but it's very, 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 very close, you guys. Very, very close. Um, and then if you wanted to do, instead of the pinks, if you wanted to go more orange, with like a cardigan, you could do that. I love these together. Um, this one might be a little, yeah. I love the the berry with that the best. Um, here, so like berry with this one, love, right? It's not so cute. And then with this one, where did our cotton? Here's our cotton one. Let's see. No, that's not gonna work. No, maybe there's a blue that we'll come to that will be good for that cotton one. But yeah, I love these. These are great. So if you want to make a top and a cardigan, so cute. So, so cute. Okay, this one is one, two, seven, two, four. All right. Oh, covering up everything over here. All right, next up we've got, uh, what do we have? This is Cozy Eco Sweatshirt Fleece in Terracotta. So very similar, the exact same as our, um, wherever that pink one went, pink one, here it is. So same as this guy that we talked about earlier. Ooh, look at those together. Oh, I'm in love with this combo. Wow, so pretty. Um, okay, so there are other colors available other than these two, but man, I just love those together. Okay, one, three, five, one, three, just so you can get an idea, this is terracotta and this is blush. Beautiful colors. Love those. Same exact fabric as this pink one that we already talked about. So go check out some of the other colors that they have. And then we have, oh, 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 one at a time. This is called Modern Sketch Floral Cotton Jersey in Peach. So this was our other cotton jersey. And now we've got this one. So if you're not into like so much floral and you want like a modern take on it, um, that's this one. I love the peachy tones and the mint and the turquoise, so pretty. Um, this might be a little too tonal, yeah. But this, look how great that looks. So you could have a t-shirt and a hoodie. That would be so cute. So, so cute. All right, let's check this one out. So we've got the cotton jersey again. This one does feel a little bit lighter, just a little bit lighter than this guy. Um, very soft though, so, so, so soft. Um, there's our drape, so not as drapey as a rayon, but you know, still drapey. Um, and what do we do, stretch? Um, here's the back, very soft. One, three, two, six, six on this guy. Yeah, I really like those those colors. I mean, you could go really muted and do something like that. Oops, sorry. You know, that's very um, like desert colorway, I guess. Um, you could do, I mean, if you wanna do a play on pattern, that's all right, it's not great. That's all right. Uh, this is our first linen that we pulled. So if you wanted to do a linen pant with a t-shirt, again, that's okay. It's not, I'm not in love. Um, here are our woven 
bottom weights. So yeah, I think my favorite is this. And then if you wanted to make a jean, but these two look really great together for sure. Okay, one, three, two, six, six on that. All right, here is a, what is this? <coughs> Cotton velour. Cotton velour? Yeah, cotton velour. There are more colors available of this one. This one's called Coral. It has, yeah, it's got a very s soft hand to it. So maybe I don't know the definition of velour. I thought velour was like a stretch velvet, but here I am learning something new. Okay, so this to me is a lot more like a French cherry than what I thought of as velour, but it's this pretty like more salmon-y coral than pinky coral. Um, it's got a ton of drape. Like I said, it's really soft. It's very nice. Lots of drape. Um, it's very stretchy. One way. The other way is not stretchy at all. That's interesting. Um, and then the back has all of this, like, feels like French Terry to me. They are definitely little loops. So there you have that. Um, this is one, three, four, nine, two. There are other colors available. Like I said, very soft. I'm just surprised. I didn't know that this would be velour. You know? So there you go. Um, okay, next up is floral outline rayon jersey in coral and ivory. So there are two colors available. One, this one, and then one more. Um, it's got the coral background and the black and white flowers. I actually really like that. It feels very modern to me to have the color in the background and not necessarily in the flowers. But it's our same rayon jersey, you know, very drapey, very stretchy, very soft, all of those lovely qualities. You're just looking at a different print. All right, so take that guy in. This is one, three, five, four, six. One, three, five, four, six. Okay. There we go on that guy. These do not match, in case you're wondering that. Let's see. With the jeans. And that's kind of matchy matchy, but I mean, you could, I guess. Okay, here's a fun one. This is seashore floral digital print linen shirting wow okay so this is a huge seashell and a huge flower that's so cool i love these blues and yellows this is so cool and then the coral and the hot pink i mean we're obviously going to find some of our bottom weights maybe not that one um here's our tencel twill yeah, those are a little too pink. And we're coming up on some orangey bottom weights, which I think will be better suited. This is our denim, that looks better. Um, and so I'll show you this again with the, with the other more orangey bottom weights. But this is a linen shirting. So it's got, linen almost always has a lot of stabilizer on it when you get it from your fabric store. Um, so I imagine this is gonna wash up really nice and linen's also one of those things the more you wash it the softer and softer it gets so um try not to judge the drape or anything <laughs> by this swatch because there's just a lot of stuff on it um but the colors are really really great and you know it's a linen shirting so i guess they want you to make a shirt out of it but you know anything linen i mean it is a little bit uh translucent slash sheer i can definitely see my fingers through it but i love the colors and i love the seashell and the flowers together that's fun that's fun no stretch no stretch one three five two two and i'm going to keep this one out right here because we're going to come up on some fabrics that might look good with it. This is the Tencel Twill again. This color is Salmon. So our first color is Fuchsia. This is Salmon. 
Okay, definitely more of like a mauve pink. So you can see that, how it's like orangey pink. Cute. Um, here's this one. Not so much. What about this guy? Yeah, those are pretty together. This is our cotton jersey. And then do a cardigan out of that. That would be really nice. Okay. Next up we have, this is really fun. What is this? This is, where am I? Geomet geometric cotton lawn, fuchsia and lime. So lawn is like a step uh, closer to quilting cotton than voile is. So voile is very, very lightweight, right? This is somewhere in the middle and cotton lawn would be like the heavier of the three. Still 100% cotton, um, still has some drape to it, but not as much, not as much. <coughs> so <laughs> here's our print. It kind of reminds me of like robots or like, I don't know, a very chic video game. <laughs> or something but it's got the lime green and the hot pink let's see our pants boom there you go hit the town in that people will be doing double takes all day long so cool yeah this is just a really fun fun print for a top or something still a little bit sheer no stretch one three two six three cool all right, now we have this beautiful color. So this is the stretch cotton sateen in coral. So we had our other cotton sateen in, was this called fuchsia? Yeah, this is fuchsia and then this is coral. All right, so pink and now more orangey pink. Um, and then to find some outfits for you guys, let's kind of try and combine some of these. That's kind of nice. That's kind of fun together. I like that. Um, here's our linen, right? So you could make some pants out of the sateen and then make a top out of this. So nice. Very good. Cute. All right. So same sateen as the fuchsia. This is just a coral color. So one, five, one, Three, five, four, zero. Other colors available. I love cotton sateen. You can kind of see the sheen better on this one, actually. Love it so much. All right, next we have this mod crepe, I guess. Uh, yeah, spring floral rayon crepe. So got that bright yellow that's so hot. Look at this color. I mean, that's almost a perfect match to these pants. So if you wanted to make, or to this uh, stretch sateen. So if you wanted to make a little outfit out of that, that makes perfect sense. So cute. Or you could make your pants out of yellow. This is very bright. These actually don't go together that well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this other yellow is just a little bit more muted. But, okay, so the number on this one is 13418. Um, it is a crepe. So crepe is got a little bit of texture to it, almost like itty bitty bubbles kind of. That's not a great analogy, but got lots of drape, no stretch. Um, crepe makes for really great flowy anything, flowy tops, flowy dresses. A little bit uh, translucent. So keep that in mind. One, three, four, one, eight. All right. All right. Now here's our bright yellow again. This is sateen in yellow, stretch cotton sateen in yellow. All right. So now we've seen three of the sateens. One, two, three. Okay. Bright, bright, bright colors for spring. It's awesome. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. The yellow is one, three, five, four, one. Okay. So good. Next we have 
This is called Romantic Floral Cotton Voile in Mustard. And we already had a romantic cotton voile in pink. So here's the difference. This is pink, this is mustard, and you can tell the, I mean, the backgrounds are totally different. It almost looks like the types of flowers are different. Yeah, I mean, these blue ones are the same. These are the purple ones. So they just switched up the colors a little bit. So this one has more oranges um, than this one does. This still has like little pink guys, pink, pink. So let's see here. What, what do we have? Rayon Twill. Um, fuchsia Sateen. Coral Sateen. Any of those jumping out at you guys? Okay. But yeah, so these are the same fabrics, just in different colorways. This is one, three, four, one, one, three, four, eight, one, eight, one. And the pink, if you forgot, is one, three, four, eight, three. Okay. So there are those two. I will say, I like the pink one better. I just like the color of the leaves better, I guess. I don't know. They're both really cute though. All right. Here is another colorway of that, um, round jersey that we had. This first one was called, what color was this? Peach? And this one is olive and ivory, right? Floral outline, hold on. This is coral, sorry. This is coral and ivory and this is olive and ivory. And they look great together. So if you wanted to do a color block, but maintain the same print, I'm just saying this would be a really fun way, <laughs> a fun way to do that. Uh, this is one, three, five, four, seven. Okay. I love this olive. That's pretty. Here is, we're moving into the greens now. This is Tencel Twill in Sage. So here's our fuchsia. Here is our coral, I'm hoping. Hold on. Oh, salmon. Fuchsia, salmon, sage. Fuchsia, salmon, sage. Definitely, yes. Love those together. Which makes me think that something like that would be really cute. Sorry about the sirens. Hashtag city life. Okay, so this is the tinsel twill. Love it. One, three, one, six, two on that guy. All right. Next up, this must be another denim. This is stretch denim in olive. Here's our other stretch denim in coral. So here's olive, here's coral. The olive definitely has more of like a stripe going through it. This one seems more heathered looking. This one has more of like a, well. Yeah, this one's a little bit more heavyweight, a little bit more rugged, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. But it's got um, a little bit of stretch. One, three, four, zero, zero on that. I love the color. I'm gonna keep it close because look at this. This is another sateen. This is tropical leaves, stretch sateen and ivory and green. Beautiful. Beautiful, look at this color. I love that color there. We don't have anything like that just yet. Just yet. What about this velour? I don't know, all these colors are so, so, so great. Here's with yellow, yellow sateen, and this is the print. So like if you wanted to do like a fit and flare and you wanted the top to be solid and the bottom to be this, that would be cute. All right, so lovely cotton sateen in a print. All right, one, three, five, one, eight. 
That's a really nice print. I love this. This looks very Ann Taylor to me. Very expensive looking. All right, here's another denim. This one is emerald. Lightweight stretch denim emerald. Oh, she wanted me to point out that this is totally opaque, even though the background is cream, lighter colored, totally opaque. So perfect for any kind of dress. Okay. All right. This is emerald green. Oh, it is lightweight. Very lightweight. That's cool. Almost like somewhere between a chambray and a denim. That's nice. Okay. So it's got a little bit more stretch than the other denims had one way. Um, it has those stripes in it again, like the olive did, right? But I mean, the two of these are, one's definitely, I mean, that's just like an envelope. <laughs> it's like paper. And this one has a little bit more drape to it, just a little bit, but definitely lighter weight. Emerald green, 13402. Okay. All right, I mentioned the lemons earlier. Now we have a lemons and a new way. So the ones that I made, the Royal Wedding Sew Along dress had a navy background. These lemons have an aqua background. This is called Summer Citrus Stretch Sateen and Aqua. So same fabric as all these solids that we've been looking at all day, um, but in this lovely, lovely print. Um, this one feels a little bit, no, they all feel the same. Just kidding. They all feel the same. Here's our yellow. If you guys want to see that, um, here are greens, not so much. Here's this guy. Yeah, it feels a little lighter than this. This feels a little bit more heavyweight to me. Yeah but these feel the same. I loved working with this and I made that dress almost exactly a year ago. I wear it all the time and it's held up really well. So if you're wondering about longevity with these fabrics, I think this is a really good one. And it's just a new fresh take on the lemon. I mean, we've seen a thousand lemon prints, right? But um, this is a fresh new take on it with that mint green or aqua background. This is 13519. Okay, so good. All right, here is another rayon twill. This one's called Aqua. So let's see, here are our other ones. I'm sure that there was more. My stack is a mess now. I can't keep track of anything. <laughs> so sorry about that. All right, this one is, what did I say? Aqua, Tencel Twill and Aqua. And I was gonna ask if there was, yeah, I wanted to keep this close when we got to the blues or even this, but aqua's not it. It's definitely more blue. These need more of a blue than, than this calls for. Um, this has a little bit of aqua in it though. That's pretty. Um, here's the other colorway of that. And here are the numbers. So you guys can see those while I'm picking through and seeing if there's anything else we've been through. How about some of these knits? That's kind of pretty. It's a little bit more green than this, but it's still pretty. Okay, there's the number on that. Yeah, that's all I see right now. So lots of fun options to pair with this, whether you wanted to make a jacket or um, drapey pants, um, lots of tops to match. Um, 13158 on this aqua. Okay, now look at this one. Love this. Pretty sure it's a sateen. Watercolor floral digital print sateen. Okay, so the same sateens we've been talking about. I'm pretty sure I almost, almost picked this one for one of my tour options, but I straight away from it ultimately. That's pretty. So like a little jacket and a dress or a skirt. Um, yeah, really nice. Same qualities as the other stretch sateens we've been talking about today. 
Same drape. Sateens are perfect in circle skirts. They look so great. One, three, 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 three. Okay. All right, next up we have, I think this is one of the velours. So this reminds me of like a towel. Now that I'm seeing it in a different color, like a, I thought that's what French Terry was. I'm learning something new. I'm gonna have to look up velour slash French Terry um, when I'm done with this, just to educate myself a little bit on the difference. But this is called uh, Aqua. So this is cotton velour in Aqua. Okay, so same as this. That's kind of fun together. If you wanted to do some color blocking, the Stitch Sisters just did a tutorial on a sweatshirt with a chevron V in the center front. That would be cute. They have a YouTube channel if you don't know of them. Um, if you wanted to make a cardigan, I guess, you could compare, combine these two together. Okay, I'm gonna look at these colors. This is cotton jersey maybe? No, tonal floral rayon jersey in teal and black. I love these colors together. This teal is stunning, stunning. Love that. 13379, there are other, there's two colors, this one and another one. Uh, maybe we'll come across it later. But it's that rayon jersey, so lightweight, drapey, soft hand, feels really good, perfect for a lightweight t-shirt. Beautiful, gonna keep that one closed because we've got this, um, Tencel Twill, this is teal, okay? So this is aqua, more blue, and this is teal, which is a little bit more green. So this obviously matches. Um, let's see, this guy, that looks pretty good. I still want more of a blue, but it definitely pulls out these. Although, is this better suited? No, I think the teal is better. Um, where were some of those other blue green ones? So I feel like these that I showed you earlier still look best with this and this, right? So we've got, that looks good. Um, this was a little bit more green. So yeah, that looks better than that for sure. Right? And then that's too green. No, no. I guess if you wanted to do a little bit of a contrast, that looks kind of good together. You know, it doesn't always have to be matchy matchy. Um, here's our linen shirting, still too green. But there you go. There are some options for, for all of these fabrics. Okay, the number on this tensile twill is 13371. Okay, look at this. Hold please. Okay, this is stretch denim in teal. Okay, teal jeans, yes, I am here for that. That sounds lovely. This reminds me more of the first denim that we looked at, this one. Right, those are more similar to me. Um, I mean, similar options that we have found. Beautiful. Um, stunning. And this guy. So good. So if you would rather make jeans versus a drapey or bottom, structured bottom, drapey bottom, and then your top options. Okay? Or cardigan or jacket, you know, whatever. Um, one, three, four, nine, six. Okay, one, three, four, nine, six. Yeah, this is just like that first one, just like this one. <clears throat> All right, now, ooh, this one's so pretty. This is Outline Floral Stretch Sateen in Periwinkle. Okay, first of all, I love Periwinkle. That might be one of my top favorite colors ever. That and like maroon slash wine, I love those. Um, this is a lighter weight sateen and it's also less stretchy. It does say stretch sateen, but it's a little less stretchy. It does have a little bit of give to it though. 
but it does have this beautiful navy and also this little aqua color in there too. So pretty. More like this velour. Uh, um, I love this print. I love this print a lot. It's even got like two tones of cream, like almost a white or ivory and then the cream color. I love that. So nice. Lightweight. Perfect for summer. This is our lemon and this is lighter than the lemon. And then that other one, was it this one? Is a little bit heavier. No, it was um, this one that I'm thinking of. So in terms of weight, this is heavier. This is kind of in the middle and this is a lightweight sateen for sure. For sure. All right, so keeping that close. All right, we have this. So this is a textured woven cotton in the blue tones. There, I'm not seeing any other colors in this one, just the one. I made a bag out of this, a, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the bag. Anyways, um, and it was great for it. I will say that the edges unravel, so it can be a little bit difficult to work with, but this would make super cute shorts or a super cute like mini skirt or a really adorable cropped jacket for spring. I would love that. Um, so lots of fun options here. It has no stretch to it whatsoever. Um, it's a little bit, you know, not stretchy, just kind of shifty on the bias, but it's completely opaque. You can't see anything. Oh, it matches my manicure. Um, and drape wise, you know, not that much drape. Here's the back. You can see like all those things are woven through. This is a fun fabric. I really loved working with it. One, two, nine, two, zero. Um, this is featured in my so Expo Roundup video. So if you want to go check out that bag. So Sweetness? Is that who does the bags? I don't know. Um, and if you wanted to see like this and then a jacket out of this. Hello. Hello. That would be fun. Or like a top in this and well, not so much that. I like it more as a jacket. All right, here's something fun. Did I do the number yet? One, two, nine, two, zero. All right, here's this. This is super cool. This is ECAT stretch denim in blue. How fun is that? Stretch denim. Oh yeah. I mean, immediately I'm thinking jacket. I'm thinking a denim shirt dress. I'm thinking a skirt. <laughs> I'm thinking like pretty much anything just put this on my body somewhere. <laughs> this is so cool. I love the colors. Love, love, love the colors. They're a little bit more muted than, than in here, but same idea. Um, and I love the ECAT. ECAT is like a, a term used to reference dyeing, like a specific dyeing technique. So this may be kind of like a knockoff ECAT because it's printed, but still that kind of vibe. Very um, Arizonian, Aztec, uh, that kind of thing. This is cool. All right. Stretch denim. So, wow, it is really stretchy. I'm almost getting sateen vibes. It's just the twill weave, I guess, that makes it, um, the denim. Wow. That's really cool. I love this. I love this. This is probably one of the more impressive ones I've seen this whole, this whole video. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to try and pull out that lightweight, sateen all right here we are this guy yeah so this is more lightweight than this but they kind of feel well other than the weight they kind of feel the same like the hand feels the same i just love all that stretch i mean that has more stretch than this stretch sateen does for sure let's see the lemons i mean about as much as the lemons maybe even more Anyways, one, three, four, zero, two. I love this. Love. All right. Next up is denim, washed denim in medium blue. So this looks like Levi's, 1980s Levi's, but the mid wash is 
so in. Everyone's doing the lighter washes. So if you need some boyfriend jeans, this is the fabric I would pick. You can see the denim twill weave running diagonally through there. Beautiful color. Um, weight is, I mean, again, I don't have the ounces or anything, but it's, it's a substantial jean. It's not a heavy weight. It actually even has a little bit of drape to it, which is interesting. Um, I guess that's the washed quality because it's not super stiff, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's going to be a good jean, a good jean. One, three, one, eight, eight on that guy. Okay. This one's pretty. Uh, polka dot cotton chambray in the color blue. Um, so chambray, lightweight, denim, family. Um, and it has this like, I don't know, cream, ivory, getting very Americana vibes, especially when I look at it with this, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know, this would be super cute in, golly, top dress for sure. Um, polka dots are the print of the season and they're saying, I just saw a segment about this this morning, they're saying that um, in order to keep polka dots from looking really juvenile, to do it in a elevated um, style. So whether you do something with a fun sleeve, um, I don't know, just trying to elevate the the style of the garment a little bit so it doesn't look so young. But I also feel like this chevron and, and the color of this dot kind of mature it a little bit too. So that's a lot of fun. I like that one. Uh, 13181. No stretch and not a ton of drape either. But I, get, I feel like the linen, I feel like this has something in it that's maybe preventing it from showing us its full drape potential. All right, here's this guy, super cute, I love this. Distressed Stars Jersey French Terry in gray and navy. First of all, gray and navy, always a win in my book, always. I love gray and navy together. Um, this one is so soft, so, so soft. Um, I mean, if you're looking for something to like have a cozy, like layer to any of your garments this spring, this is this is the winner. I love this star so much. And here's the back, the French Terry. God, it's so soft. So soft, so lightweight, so drapey, so cute. <laughs> um, stretchy, yeah, this is like comfort at its best. Love it. One, three, three, eight, three. Navy stars. You want to pair it with your mid-weight jean or <coughs> I mean none of these really go together this looks okay right so cute or you can have like a lot of fun and just throw your hot pink pants on yeah right all right look at this beauty denim Rose floral printed stretch denim. I mean, so cute, so cute. I love this. Again, it has my favorite color periwinkle hidden in there. This is like red. This is like cherry red. Um, where was that rugby stripe? Here it is. This was called cherry. That's cute. I like those two together. If you did a jacket in this and a and a top with your with your jeans, <laughs> that could be a fun outfit. Look how cute! And then um, you need another layer. Or I don't know something cardigan or something. You can do that. That's fun. So fun. Here is um, for another option. Uh, well. It's like too many florals on top of each other. What else? This guy? What was the the periwinkle that I originally saw and loved? I already forgot about it. Um, okay. 
Well, maybe I've got too much of a mess going over here. I can't even picture it. See, these are the colors we're, we're trying to get closer to. Um, yeah, too many fabrics, too many swatches. I don't even see the periwinkle thing anymore. What was it? Now I'm like, whew, it is outline floral stretch sateen. Yeah, 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 that lightweight sateen. Hold on. Now I'm determined to find it in here in this mess of fabrics. This, is this what that is? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> uh, one, three, three. Oh, it was this. Okay, golly, after all that. Well, this is really cute and I think this would make an adorable uh, denim jacket. Love, love, love this so much. Love this pink color, love this red color, love all the periwinkles, so great. Uh, one, three, three, nine, six, no stretch. Well, she's saying it's stretched in them, but maybe when you wash it, because <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I mean, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Um, and then like, you know, pretty heavyweight. So very jackety pants, that kind of denim. Okay. Then there is this, uh, stretch sateen, navy and white. Okay, again with the polka dots, but navy and white. So, I mean, again, with the stretch sateen, you could make anything. Um, I'm pick, I'm seeing a dress, almost maybe even a vintage -y retro one. Um, this would be really, really cute in that. Um, lovely as a little jacket. And also, what was that other, was this the, I keep wanting this to match something. <laughs> so dots and floral are really cute together. Both are stretch sateen. This one is a little bit heavier. This is lighter weight. So you could do something fun with those two. That's cute. Okay. The dots are 13397. All right. All right, ooh, this can only mean one thing, border print. Okay, this is actually a panel. So one end is solid, 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 and goes all the way down into this super cute yellow, cream, ivory, beigey, floral, coral goodness. And then the bottom has this little stripe. So here's how I can get most of that on camera for you guys to see. Um, this, I have it on good authority, is a Draper James print. Draper James is the company owned by Reese Witherspoon and they make a lot of really great, cute clothes that are very expensive. <laughs> um, I'll insert <laughs> some pictures here. They have another colorway of this. Um, it's like more pinky and coral. So I'll show you the pictures of the Draper James garments um, in the corner up here. Um, but this is a floral stripe border print panel. So they don't say anything about the fabric itself, but honestly, I'm getting sateen vibes. I feel like this is a sateen for sure. Um, the panel, this is, this is the length width of the panel. So if you wanted to make a dress that would be difficult uh, that would be impossible well nothing's impossible you would have to have you would have to have this as your waist and this be your skirt and then you'd have to have it go this way and this be your waist and this go up into your bodice so you might actually have flowers on the top and bottom I don't know that you'd be able to do a solid navy uh, bodice. That's like a foot, you know? But that could still be really cute. Don't get me wrong. That could still be really, really cute. So, all right. Uh, one, three, three, nine, zero. Fun. And if you wanted to do, I don't know, something with our yellow sateen, you could do that. 
cute. Here's rugby uh, rayon jersey in navy and vanilla. Okay, so we've had our cherry, our berry. Um, here's berry. I mean cherry. Where's where's berry? I lost berry. You guys remember Barry, right? <laughs> it's a mess over here. Oh, here she is. Okay. See, there we go. Uh, Barry, Cherry, Navy. Yep. All right. Navy is one, two, seven, two, three. And here's Navy's coordinating solid. Okay. All of the solids are just an easy bit deeper than the stripe. But again, if you wore them together, most people on the street would not be like, those don't match. They're very, very, very close. But again, if you're a perfectionist, don't come at me saying, you said they were gonna match. They're just a little itty bitty bit off. Okay, um, the solid is one, two, seven, two, two. All right, now we have another crepe. This is Spring Branch Floral Rayon Crepe and Navy. So rayon crepes are a lot of fun. They can be a little shifty to cut, you know, they wanna move around, but this one's really pretty. It's got this long branch with all these leaves on it. The leaves have a lot of those turquoise aqua teal, type qualities to it, um, which is nice. The background is like a super dark navy, um, darker than that even. It's almost black, to be honest. Um, so yeah, but crepe, um, like I said, has a little bit of a texture to it. It's always fairly uh, lightweight, very drapey, absolutely no stretch. No stretch. So you're looking for drapey tops, drapey dresses, anything with a ruffle is really great in a crepe. Um, so yeah, this is like a dark moody spring print, you know? One, three, four, two, five on this guy. Okay. Here is another crepe, I think. Um... Where am I? Abstract Floral Rayon Crepe Navy Coral. Rayon Crepe Navy Coral. Wow. Look at these colors. These are fun. Here's our... Oh, that's cute. Which one was this? One, three, three, seven, four. Hold on. I gotta make sure I get the color right. I think it's salmon. One, three, three, seven, four. Nope. One, three, three, seven, four. One, three, three, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, salmon. The salmon looks really good with this. Really good. These are like neon. But this, they're not the exact same, but they're close. Um, more so than anything else we've seen, I think. Yeah. Cute. Okay, again, rayon crepe, no straight uh, stretch. Um, it's a little bit lighter than this one. This one's very lightweight. So a lot more drip. I love the navy background with the pop of neon and bright florals and um, foliage on top. Super cool. This purple color in here is really nice. There's a lot to pull out of this one. Here's our cherry solid rayon and you could make a little cardigan. That would be cute. All right. One, three, four, two, zero. All right, here's another lemon print. This one is a rayon, um, where am I? Oh, shoot. No wonder I can't find it. <clears throat> lemon stripe rayon shirting, navy and white. So a rayon shirting. I kind of see a Cali shirt in this. I don't know why. Maybe, I don't know, I'm getting like 50s <laughs> and the Cali to me has got a little 50s flair to it. Um, tons of drape, 
very lightweight, cute. I like this stripe and the lemon together. I know we've kind of seen that a little bit here and there, but um, this is really nice. And then we have our navy rayon. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than that, but still cute. All right, these lemons are 13329. No stretch, just a lot of drape and very, very soft. Very, very, very soft. All right, here is, you guys wondering how far we have left to go? We still have this much. <laughs> Maybe you need a snack break. You need to pause the video for a snack break. Um, okay, this is large scale abstract floral cotton royal. Yeah, so the same, oh my, I don't think I'll ever find those again. Um, the same cotton voils that we have with those other like pink florally ones. Uh, these guys. Mustard and pink, remember these two? So this is the same, except it's got this really cool black and periwinkle like vibe to it. Very abstract, very, you know, paintbrush, brush stroke, you know, that whole thing going. Okay. Not a lot of drape. Um, very, very, very lightweight. Perfect for a shirting. One, three, four, zero, nine. Okay. I'm surprised with all these periwinkle prints, we haven't seen like a solid periwinkle to help us out with the matching layering and all that. <clears throat> okay. Here is another velour. This one's the navy velour. So we had our other velours. Um, nope, I don't know where they went. <laughs> it was like an orangey one and something else. Oh, here we go, this teal one. Anyways, here are our velours. This one is navy. So here's our navy dot, still pretty dark. Um, here's our panel. These two look great together. I wish there was a way to combine those. I mean, I'm sure there is. I wish I could think of one is what I'm trying to say. Um, here's this navy. It's a little more blue still. But same velour as the others, just in a different color. One, three, four, six, four. Okay. Here's this. This is pretty. Oh God, the next one is super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay focused on what's in front of me. This is tie dye rayon crepe in fuchsia slash blue. So rayon crepe with the texture and the lightweight, no stretch, drapey, same as the other rayon crepes. Very, very soft hand. This one has tie dye. Can you see kind of how it's tie dye? So it's got all these great fuchsia colors that we kind of reviewed in the beginning. Um, but it also has this navy in here too. So if you wanted to tone it down a little bit, you could put a navy in there. But it's also got these like burnt oranges and reds and stuff like that going on too. Uh, I'm trying to find some of those bottom weights that we were reviewing. <laughs> okay. This is fun. Fun, fun. You can do something really pretty in that. One, three, four, one, seven. Don't let the tie dye scare you. It would be unexpected and like a modern take on tie dye, I think. Even these colors in here, look at these like aqua colors. Okay. All right, I'm just too excited. Look how pretty, how pretty. Okay, this is called, what is it called? Embroidered Cotton Eyelet in Orchid. Oh, I love the color Orchid. This is beautiful. So it's got the eyelet. Um, no other colors, no matching anything. And it's a little hard to tell how big this flower is probably gonna be like this, right? 
So pretty significant. Um, so you would need to probably still back it with something. Um, so keep that in mind, but I love, I love this. So pretty. Okay, so no stretch. The embroidery keeps it pretty structured without a lot of drape. Um, here's what the back looks like. Lightweight, the cotton, you know, it's soft for a cotton. Cotton's not like this most soft fabric, you know, as it is. It's just the color of this is so beautiful. One three one nine seven. One three one nine seven. Yeah, that is fun. I love that. Okay, here is another one of our round twills. This one's called I'm sorry, tencel twill. This one's called orchid as well, but it's definitely more muted. I mean I could see these two living in the same world. I wouldn't necessarily underline this in tinsel twill. That would get a little heavy, but the color looks good. If you could find, um, maybe they have some of their cotton batiste. You can reach out to Michelle um, at Style Maker and ask her to match the backing for this if you wanted. Um, but so tinsel twill in orchid, 13165, okay? Same as our other tinsel twills. Here's with our tie dye, that's pretty. Okay. Here is something fun. This is a boiled wool in the color lilac. So boiled wool, not necessarily something I would jump to for spring, but then again, I live in the South. Those of you that live like in the North, Midwest, Pacific Northwest, any of those areas, you guys might might need this. Or my, my international friends. Um, it's getting colder for you guys. So um, something to consider. It is a lighter weight, boiled wool considering. Um, be a gorgeous toaster sweater. Like, so good. Saunio cardigan, so good. So good. Um, but also like a moto jacket. Oh, okay. Super cute, very inspired. <laughs> um, one, three, five, two, nine. One, three, five, two, nine. Okay. Oh, all these colors coming up are just giving me so much life. All right, here is a watercolor floral digital print rayon jersey. So same as the other rayon jerseys we've covered. I just, I, this feels like it has a bit of an Asian flair to me, which I love. Um, I just love all this that's happening over here with the red and pink, so nice. And we've got all of our purples that we've kind of been living with the past few swatches, right? But we've also got like our blues and our periwinkles and teals and aquas. I mean, this really, runs the gamut on what you could pair it with. Okay, so fun, I love these two together. This is 13339, nice light, lightweight drapey rayon jersey. So cute, cute, cute. Um, next up is, I think this is pink, I mean, purple denim. Um, this is cotton twill in the color orchid. So again, twill is, twill weave is what denim is made from. So it's very much like denim in this purple color. So fun spring denim jacket. Yes, please. Right? That would be so cute together. So cute. You know what this could be? If you didn't, I'm sorry, I keep going back to this, but it's just like so inspiring. 
if you wanted to make it an outer layer of something, kind of like a structured woven cardigan, like I made that Ninu Far jacket to go over um, that dress for Sew Expo, you could make a Ninu Far, Deer and Doe Ninu Far, and you wouldn't underline it at all. You would just leave all the eyelets open and then it would it would go over your dress or your top or whatever and you would see bits of that underneath. That'd be cute too. Okay, we're, I don't even know where we are. We were here. Okay, <laughs> so no stretch going on here. Okay, so suitable for a jacket. Um, I mean, some people do jeans in non-stretched denim. I, I personally cannot do that, but if you can, by all means. One, three, four, eight, four. There are other colors of this. Okay. This is called Tropical Leaves Rayon Print. Oh my God, so much periwinkle. Rayon Print in Periwinkle and Vanilla. I'm obsessed. Rayon Crepe. Oh, I love this too much. I love this so much. So cute. Um, so our rayon crepe with the texture, the lightweight, drapiness, no, no, I mean a little bit stretch actually. <clears throat> I just love the print so much. Again, I like leaves, long leaves and the colors are just spot on. One, three, four, two, one. And then I was asking for a solid periwinkle and boom, here we go. This is Tencel Twill in Periwinkle. So let me try and find all of our, so kind of maybe different shades of Periwinkle actually. This is more purple now that I'm seeing it. Um, here's a Periwinkle, that, that is beautiful together. Of course we have this, we just saw. Um, what else? All of these blues and stuff that has some purple in it. This reminds me of this. Hmm. Um, navy and periwinkle, I think are a match made in heaven. So if you wanted to make pants, top, cardigan, to get a layer, pants, top, cardigan, perfect. This is just why I love the swatch videos so much. You just get to play. These are perfect. These match exactly. This is that cotton voil. I mean, these are the same color. The same. Okay, and this is black. So if you had a black velour or black cardigan, um, you'd put it with this or white. All right, this is so pretty. I love these two together too. They're not an exact match, but they still go. They coordinate. One, three, three, seven, two on the Periwinkle Tinsel Twill. All right, this is, wow, this is fun. I like this a lot. This reminds me of anthropology. This is uh, silhouette print, stretch denim in white and gray. White and gray are seriously so chic. So chic, I love white and gray. Wasn't there already like a white and, or it was this tonal thing. Um, either way, this looks like it would cost a thousand dollars. Like whatever you make would be a thousand dollars. So pretty, but it is inevitably a stretch denim. So, and it's got kind of like a brushed quality on the backside. That's kind of cool. Um, I want a jacket. I already said like 14 jackets that I want to make, but I want a jacket out of this. It's like a neutral. You could wear it with anything. I mean, imagine this little outfit that you made and then boom, throw that jacket over it. And you're like print on print. You've got all these fun colors going. Or if you swapped it out for this guy, you know, you've got all that going. Um, That has more... Yeah, we didn't like those together. Um, so much fun. Or imagine this guy with like navy. So cute, right? Or if you put him over your panel, 
your yellow panel like it'd be more like this <laughs> let's do this justice oh god it'd be more like this right that's cute although this is gray and this is cream so i don't know how particular you are about getting all matchy matchy like that but i just feel like this would be such a great um statement over just about anything you know a statement denim jacket yes one three three nine three all right now we have this is rose floral cotton jersey in black and blue black and blue it's actually more like this color than this but this is not a solid um and it has black background so our navies won't work so so far this is kind of like a standalone I mean, it does have some of these colors, so let's see what this velour. Nah, I like it more in this in this area. No more solids coming up, so. But anyways, this is our cotton jersey. So same as the others, slightly more structured like t-shirt. Okay, lots of fun stretch. One, three, three, eight, zero. This is beautiful, Monet, anybody? Um, tulip Still Life Digital Print Stretch Sateen Black. That's so pretty, so elegant. If you are into like art galleries and going to shows and stuff like that, you need a dress made out of this fabric. Everyone would be asking you about it. It's really cool. I mean, it literally looks like canvas painted. Awesome. So stretch sateen, we've been over the other stretch sateen, so this is just a print. Um, let me try and find our cherry, hold please. Cherry and berry, where are you guys? Cherry, berry, here's berry, no berry. Um, where's my cherry? I lost, oh here's cherry. Let's see, the cherry cardigan, oh yeah. Right? It even has those periwinkle colors in there that are really nice. Very cute. Fit and flare dress and a cardigan. Boom, you look like a million bucks. All right, this one is one, three, zero, eight, five. All right, we've got, this is fun. Um, abstract tropical floral rayon crepe. So we've talked a lot about rayon crepe already. Lightweight, no stretch, kind of like light to, or full to mid drape. Okay. It's just the colors are so cool. Where's that emerald something? Yeah, is it this? That's a little heavy on the green. <laughs> um, tinsel twill and olive. Um, This guy, yeah, yeah, this guy looks great. This is one of our denims, I think. Yeah, one of our stretch denims. One, three, four, nine, six. Hold on. One, three, four, nine, six. Stretch denim and teal. Love. But this, this is a beautiful color in the middle too. Also, we have that purple. Eh, it's a little bright. How about our boiled wool? This is what I could just do this for days. Just match up all these swatches and make little outfits. This is one of my favorite things to do. Okay, rayon crepe. One, three, four, one, nine. All right. Oh, look at this one. This is also very anthropology, right? If you love anthropology, then you will adore that. Uh, let's see, spring vine. Really, spring vine floral sateen shirting. I can't say I've ever heard of a sateen shirting. That's fun. This would make a beautiful like 
garden party dress. I know people don't really go to garden party anymore, but imagine like a semi-fitted bodice into like a pleated or even gathered skirt that was long, like just past your knee, like maybe one or two inches past your knee with like a little wedge sandal and a little woven bag. Oh my God, you guys, I see it. I can just see it. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me find, let's say you just wanted to make a top and you're like not here for my garden party, which whatever, rude. But um, here's the blush um, eco sweatshirt fleece, not quite not quite there. This is a little brighter pink. Um, but I also wanted, oh, the yellow. You would think that yellow would be really easy to find. Here's the yellow to kind of pull out this stuff going on here. But you guys, we've also got our teals and turquoises and aquas. So if you wanted a top and pants, eek, that's so cute. I love this. This is good, this is good. Which one is this? This is 13158. 13158, aqua. Tencil twill and aqua, super cute. Love, 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 love. All right, so this guy, which you're all gonna write down, 13199. And we're all going to have matching garden party dresses. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm also going to be broke, but I'm also obsessed. Okay. Now this is fun. This is large scale rose floral poly crepe. So we've talked a lot about rayon crepes, right? Like this guy. This is a poly crepe, polyester, man-made material, not like rayon. Um, it is smoother. That's the first thing you'll notice. Um, drape wise, drapier. Okay. Um, neither one of them are going to have any stretch, but this is just the main difference is it's just a lot smoother. So a lot of that texture that you're, that you get with a crepe is gone with poly. This just feels pretty much like no texture. <laughs> it's just pretty smooth. Um, it's not like like a, not like satin smooth. It definitely has a texture to it, just not as much as the rayon, okay? But it does have beautiful colors in here. I keep losing my, my berry, cherry, my cherry cardigan. Here it is. But so many of these are having this little fun red moment in here. But also our, my berry would look good too. Okay, so fun. So yeah, I would make, you know, any of those like flowy, billowy kind of tops out of this. Black background, black background. All right, this is one, three, four, one, one. Pretty, pretty, pretty polyester. Okay, look at this guy. Spilled something, just kidding. Uh, droplet stretch denim in charcoal. This is like, this is like glamorous rebel, right? Like if you wanted a black denim jacket or black jeans, but you didn't want to be like so polished, this literally looks like someone spilt glitter nail polish all over your fabric, but in a cool way. I also, what do you think it's like to sew through that? It's like kind of plasticky. So that's something to keep in mind, but it's fun. And it's like, it's like edge, but also texture, also shine. Cause there's like little glittery parts inside the little droplets. Um, so you see what I mean? It's like glamorous, bad A, <laughs> glamorous rebel. This would be super cool. Moto jacket, jean jacket, ooh, jean skirt right? Like a fitted jean skirt. Awesome. One, three, four, oh, three. It is, does have a little bit of stretch to it. So that's good. Um, and you know, obviously all that plastic is not going to make it very drapey at all. And also maybe not put this in the dryer. Just a thought, but it's cool. It's very cool. 
very different, dimensional. It's just one of those things you wanna just keep looking at, you know? Fun, fun, that's cool. All right, this is our last fabric. I feel like we're on The Bachelor. Ladies, this is the final rose. Everyone watching this video, this is the final fabric. And it's not a rose, but it is cherries. <laughs> Who's here for cherries? Okay, summer cherries, stretch sateen in black. Black background, bright red cherries with our cherry cardigan with our black glamour glamour rebel jacket that's actually really cute <laughs> i was kind of kidding but that's really cute also how cool would this be together oh love that not with this but with this okay sorry I, i'm drawing back to the cherries so stretch sateen right yep there's all of our stretch a little bit of sateen not you're not like shiny or anything but there's a little bit there and not a lot of drape beautiful circle skirt though obviously i'm getting like retro vintagey vibes off of this you know any of those gertie patterns would kill it in this um same i don't know same vibe i'm getting from the polka dots the navy dots but yeah love this guy one three three nine four very very fun summery flirty print and with that let me bring all my mess over here here's what we've got this is style maker fabrics spring collection in a pile i had so many favorites you guys can definitely tell which ones i absolutely loved and um, which ones I will be adding to my cart. Um, do not forget $5 shipping through the spring blog tour, um, which I think is around two weeks. Um, here is a screenshot of the tour schedule. You see, I'm on the 30th. There's a lot of really, really great sewists in this mix. Probably the strongest collection of sewists that she's ever had. I'm feeling very honored to be part of it um, and excited about what I am making. Um, so take your list. If you literally wrote it down with pen and paper, take a picture and send it to me on Instagram. I want to see how long it is. Who has the longest list? Um, and then of course, let me know what you buy. I want to know like what of all of this is ending up in you guys' carts. So, I mean, this spring is going to be a lot of fun. These are really great, fun, colorful fabrics, and I am so excited and so here for it. But now that we are at almost two hours, maybe the longest video ever, um, I am going to say goodbye. I am going to go to Stylemaker Fabrics and place my order. I hope you do too. Um, and until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.